And before we get out of the car, we say, let's go find something we want in all of life. So that's, that's our, our reward. But this is a glasses case, a big one. You gotta make sure it's a big one. You'll kind of get a feel of how big that Ozark trail thing is. And what I do is I put it in here and I label it. That way I know everything that I have. Because I had a stroke in 2009. You never know and I'm a walking miracle. But this way, it's right there by my bed. It's not scattered everywhere. I don't have to look for the cord. I don't have to know what it is in the, the black thing. I just label it with my label maker. So it, this is something that helps me so much. Stroke or not, I did it before I had my stroke. But it just keeps me more organized. So this is something I need. Great. Thank you. Oh, you have one more. And this is, I wish, is Jill here? I was going to, I mean, I think that was her name. I can't remember. The, she wears the, the real pretty jackets with the fringe. Anyway, oh, yeah. y'all have to tell her about this. This is something, I use it every, I used to use it every morning when I worked. But then when I started camping, and you know, sometimes if you're somewhere and you really want to go out and about, you got the extra time. Now here you don't have really extra time because there's so much fun stuff to do to put on makeup. Makeup, there you are. Hi, this is what I'm talking about. Um, put on makeup or anything, but I have things. Just to, the, this is really the only thing I curl because my hair is really thin and straight. But this is a game changer. This is called a Conair, and this is on Amazon now. It's a Conair curling iron. Now, they had the bigger tubes. I think that you can find them every once in a while in their stock. No electricity. Butane. If there's a butane thing you buy, oh, you oh, screw it in, and you, um, let's see, you gotta click it. Let's see, it's off. Push it on, and then you click it. Let's see. One, two, three. It gets hotter than you would imagine. And it curls my bangs. Little and it's, I got the little one because sometimes my bangs are shorter than the others. But I have another one just like this. It takes the same cartridge, same, same um, procedure, and you can just use it. And then you just when you're done, turn it off. Make sure you turn it off because you'll waste your butane. But I'm going to leave this on, and I'm going to pass it on. And the butane tubes, they. they <laughs> <laughs> they run around. I think the butane. I just bought three of them, uh, and they run around because I was. I was. I still have some, but I bought. I like to keep up with them because you never know. You know, they're trying to make everything electrical now. But and this I've had a good twenty five years, and they still have them. So um, they make the bigger tubes. Where's Jill? For you know, the, like if you got more hair and you just want some bounce around your face, you could just do it and run it down. And it, it, it's cute. You know, it, it makes you feel. Good. It's kind of like getting made up and you're out and about. So, but anyway, those are my gadgets. You look at those. I'll be over here. You can pass it around. Yeah, you buy those separately. I think you get one with it. Yeah, yeah. It's just similar to the thermostat. Yes. But they come in these, and if anybody wants the link, I'm over here. And if you want the link to the hand warmers, Amazon has the hand warmers, but I think that they're sold out on Amazon. But like I said, don't believe them. Go to Walmart and look it up. You know, if you can't see them at the camping park, look up. And they're in the little square box. And thank you, thank you so much. So, oh, hi, everybody. In my um, quest to get away from plastic, I have two things to show. Uh, first of all, I started using soap for everything. So shampoo, soap, conditioner, and soap. So I went on Amazon, and I bought soap bags. So all your little pieces of soap go in there, no matter how small they are, and it sizes up, and it's also exfoliating. So I use it for shampoo, condition. I have separate ones for each of them. So they're just little soap bags, they open up, the soap stays in them. Oh, there are other ones too, there's these too. So there's different kinds, but um, it, it's a good way to avoid plastic, if anyone ever goes that route. And, and in that same, um, these are food, um, these are food bags. So these are, um, I forget what it's called. What is that rubber? Yeah, silicone bags. And so this has my bra My whole cooler is full of them. They have them in big ones. They're flat on the bottom. They stand up straight. This one has nuts. It's in my car. It's a snack. So no bulky containers. Um, no plastic, no glass. It's just bags. I have a whole ton of all my food is in these bags and they're all in my cooler and um, they squish up and, they, and then they, you know, squish up to nothing and you just... How do they clean? Oh, they pop right inside out. 
So they pop inside out, they're super easy to clean, pop back in, and so easy. I've already done it, because when I bought them, I cleaned the inside. What brand is it? Uh, I mean, I've been online once or twice. I don't even know what it doesn't say on it. Oh yeah, it does. Right? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to show you my glasses. Do you want one day? These are called clicks. Anyone who has readers, okay? I've had these for three years. I have two pairs. They bend. They they've never popped out. They hang around your neck. They're a game changer for hiking. I backpack through the woods, and I can't be putting pulling the glasses out and putting them on. And so they just click. <laughs> they do. And they're so easy. And um, I had a patient come to my clinic one day who had them. And I said, What did you just do with those glasses? Talk to that again. And he said, They're Click, C L I K S. And I went right on Amazon in front of him and bought two pairs, and I've never looked back. I don't even use regular glasses. So, yeah. So <laughs> Oh, poor. Is that what you said? These are four. There, you can buy stasher guys, and they're a woman-owned company. They were the first one with these reusable right. Ziploc bags. Um, you can get them at Target. You can order them, but they're fantastic. Yeah, I just bought these from Amazon. They have a super thick um, seal, so they pop together, and then they just pop inside out. They're really, really cool. I like the flat bottoms. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. flat bottoms, and then they turn inside out, and yeah. they pop right inside out. Super easy. Clean them and pop them right back. Yeah, so they're really good. Sure, the, the gray guy is that the Matador, which is. That's from Amazon too, and I don't really know. I just bought it. And it came in like a four or six pack. So I gave my father used a soap too. I gave him one, but I haven't from all my soaps. They just called soap bags. They just called soap bags. Yeah. And I do like these better than those little silky ones that I pulled out because these stick flap over and stay closed, and the little silky ones, they don't really close. You have to keep like cinching them. You know, so that one works better. Good. Yeah, those are my gadgets. Yay. Thanks, Jerry. Hi, Chris. All righty. So, I have a couple things I'll be quick. As travelers, we always have to pick something up, worried about our tires. I learned this from uh, Judy and I were at a meetup and we met a gentleman. The one I have is bigger. So, this is an air compressor. You can go up to 160 psi. and Someone like me, I never had power tools before, so I'm starting to buy things that I'll need on the road, and you can buy things that take the same battery to dry over. So the two fans that I have in my van, a big one and a small one, will take this battery also. And so this cost me $40 at Home Depot, but from time to time they have sales, especially Father's Day, where you're really um, getting this free and they'll give you like a battery. And this is a 12 volt, mini rice cooker and I use this when I'm traveling and put my rice on it, it'll give me two servings of rice. I've used it to make quinoa. You, there's a little um, a little tray on the top if you just wanted to eat something and you can make your rice while you're making it and it draws very, very little power. So you can plug that into your cigarette lighter? I plug it into my cigarette lighter and I put it right beside between the seats and when I get where I'm going, I have my rice and my quinoa. Nice. I'm good to go. <laughs> Amazon special. <laughs> uh, so it cost me about $33 on Amazon, but if you look up mini rice cooker, you'll find them. There are lots of different brands on them. And it's got a little kitty on the front? It's got a little kitty on the I, I, I think it's a kitty. If, no, it's not. It's not in a language that I read. <laughs> but in case anybody didn't see it, it's a lighter with a spark, and the um, charge lasts a really, really long time. So if you ever, your matches get wet or anything like that, it works really, really well. You wanna, I, it, I've had this since 2018, so everything's rubbed off. Um, yeah, electric lighter on Amazon. I bought it. So it's USB, USB. Yeah, USB chargeable, and when I bought it, it was $13. Yay! Thank you.
on the side of the road when I had an issue. The light is really, really bright. <laughs> Terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, cook 
hook up a hall like this for a week. I use this. I'm going to do it today. I'm, I need to cook some sweet potatoes, so I'm going to cook some sweet potatoes. So today. if like on a butane stove, we, would you turn it on high, got on low? Would it be on low? Yourself? I do it usually about medium. Uh, you don't want to do it on high because then it'll cook too That's quick. what I thought, yeah. Or you can do it on low uh, and it'll make it to where it's not mushy. So, because yeah. if you cook it too fast, so you know, you know how it is when you're cooking it. Just yeah, yeah. Mushy. But they have different insects and inserts in it. I have never used this. This is a muffin one, and it just pops out. You could do eggs in these. Um, they have another little grill one that goes in that you can bake bread on. You can bake bread in this. Cakes. You can do like cakes. You can make cookies. You can do any of that. So, and it's on uh, Amazon. Oh, I don't know how much you paid for it, but it's about six. Yeah, I was going to say they're about sixty, seventy dollars. Do you want the insert? Can I ask a question? About sure. Um, when you, but I have a little coal stove. Yeah. Have you used that with that? That's what I do. Yeah. Do it something like four or five minutes, say, a day or four or something like that. I guess you could do that with that. How how much fuel do you use? I use a little brick. I, I usually use, um, well, those go a long way. Yeah. So if, if, if so there it doesn't is, just run it out, it's still have 20 I usually use the uh, butane. I don't use the propane as much. Oh, I that's like fine. I really, that's one in the cold I'm sorry. I like to use the butane instead of the propane. So that has pretty good for 45 minutes. Um, probably, I can probably get 45 minutes mm -hmm. easy out of it. Oh, okay. I was curious how many. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, Gail. You're Good morning, ladies. Good morning. So first I have an idea to share with everyone. There's a, a vast camping community out there, and I see a lot of women talking back and forth about uh, how they like to camp in their cars. But more and more campgrounds are refusing service for women who want to camp in solely their cars. So I came up with an idea of how to circumvent that. So you just get one of those little teeny tiny instant pop-up tents, yes. and you just pop it out there, sleep in your car. They don't have to know where you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. And then when you leave, you just roll it back up and it folds up really slender, slide it in the space of your car. And that way, you know, you're abiding by their rules and you get to still do what you want. <laughs> so there's that part I wanted to share. The other thing is the Dollar Tree now has space tape. It's just like the alien tape, probably not as great, but in a pinch, it's a lot like um, the alien tape you have because it still comes with the plastic, it still comes the pieces off. And um, so, anyway, just to, for in a pinch. And then also, ice has been an issue for me on this trip. But on Amazon, I got these little dry ice packets. And Dion was so gracious to let me, you just soak them in water and they swell up and then you pack them dry and she let me put them in her freezer so that I didn't have to run to the store and get more ice. And the only thing I noticed is that it gets a little slimy on the back side of it. So I would put it like in a Ziploc bag because it's not fun to reach it or anything. That's right, you just soak it in water, so I just took my plastic bowl and I laid seven of them in there and poured water on it and just let it sit for a few minutes and they swell up. And then you just pack them dry so they don't stick to the freezer and then you just stick them in the freezer. They, they recommend about 10 hours to tell you right here how to use it. Thank you. So I have two things. When I first started camping, I was 
uh, using gallon jugs. Well, when they're empty, you know, you've got to find a place to put the gallon jug. So um, on Amazon, <laughs> I found these uh, food safe collapsible, and they're just over a gallon jug, and they fold flat so they can stick in when they're empty anywhere. So you just let them dry out real good because you don't want to create mold in there. She just let them dry out, and then I just stop at the local grocery or wherever I'm on the road and, and use their water fill-up and fill them up and keep on going. So that helps me. What's the name of this? Well, this one is called Water Storage Cube. Thank you. And when it's full, how is it? Does it is it wider or is it empty? Yes, yeah, it's wider and it, and it does stand oh, up, so it's got a flat bottom. So it stands up and it's just a little poochy, but it's it's less wide than a gallon jug is. So it, it does, I like it. I know a lot of people have shown this. This is my little water heater uh, kettle, and uh, it only draws 300 watts of power, and it's about I think it's 16 ounces. So I just heat up the water for a couple minutes and. Uh, Morning, is that AC or DC power? This is um, AC. Good. Yeah, I plug it in. I plug it in. A regular plug. Yeah, the regular. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How long does it take? About three minutes. Oh, wait, not ready. What's the name of this? This one is Per Super. P E R S U P E R. It's got four different heat settings, so you can uh, do a minimum or really, really high. Nice, thank you. Thank you. I keep it in my van and I also keep it in my kitchen because I have 
fire extinguishers because I really don't know how to use them. So, this is my favorite gun. What do those go for? How much do those cost? Uh, I think I got four of them for 60. And I just did them up. But uh, the more you get, the less they are. But still, you don't have to recharge it like a fire extinguisher. And it hangs really nice on the wall in the kitchen. So it works out well. And then someone was asking about safety and ventilation in their cars. So I use these on my two front driver and passenger side window. When they're in, I have a crank window. You crank it up, and it's as tight as an iron bar. You would not have somebody be able to rip that out at night. So Cracker Barrel uh, rest stops, I use them, and I don't really get worried about somebody trying to get into my car. What's it made of? It's plastic, but it has grooves. So the grooves fit into the window, and then these edges fit. And the other part, this fits as you crank it up. You can use it on electric windows too, it's just I think the crank really works well. But once it's cranked in, it's solid. So where are you getting it? Uh, Amazon, and it's in the pet section. So you can get it so that you can have your dog in your car and have some good Make sure that your spring socks on or something to keep the bugs out. Yeah, during January, February, I didn't because there weren't any bugs. But uh, the skirt coming down, I did use the screen. Just look at the pet. Yeah, a window dip, um, and it has you know, pets. It's really what they're counting on to do. So that's been great. It was like $11. So, uh, it was Thank you, Snow. Hi. Hi. So I don't have a gadget to talk about, but I have a cool tip and trick to help reduce the cost of some of these Amazon items that you purchase and such like that. So if you go into Walmart, Target, and maybe some other grocery stores, and um, anyway, so if you go into Walmart, there's this app, you scan a product and you get points, and it'll show you like which products just to scan. So it could be like toothpaste, um, dog food, toilet paper, so we'll show you the list of the items to scan. And last July, when I turned 50, I had accrued enough points to stay in a castle for free in Ireland. So the app is called Shopkick. Has anybody ever heard of that before? Shopkick. And it's free. You just go into the store while you're shopping, getting your regular groceries or items. You scan the barcode and you're accruing these points. And next thing you know, you have a $25 gift card to wherever you want. Amazon, Target, Walmart, or, or wherever. Or you can even use it for Hotels.com, which is what I did in my case. So I just thought I'd share that. And I think that that way, I think it's like if when I'm in there, I think it's uh, we're doing the inventory for them, which I don't care. I'm getting a gift card out of it, so. Uh, Plus, you're actually going and touching the products. Precisely. They probably hope it ends up in your car. Yeah. Yeah. And then, oh, it, let's say you scan one product, you scan, you might get 25 points. Another product you scan, you might only get 15 points. But sometimes. If you let's just say toothpaste, we just stick with that since that's all I have in my mind. You scan the toothpaste and get your 25 points, but then if you buy it, you might get 500 points. So if it's a product that you need anyway, you're reducing the cost of the product that you purchase, but you're also gaining something for the future. So, and it has for restaurants too. So, sure. Thank you. Hi, I'm, I'm Karen, I'm Marissa's mom. Hi, Karen. This is a simple kit that I originally got off of Amazon as Camper's Essentials. 
for um, cooking utensils and for those long lighters that you need to store and the, the tongs and things like that. But what I ended up doing was I've been collecting small jars from all these that are strawberry preserves, jars, these little jars. So I had a whole bunch of them. So what I did is I put things that spill, like honey, avocado oil, nuts, more nuts, and raisins, and little, little items so that if you want to save space, I have like coffee, we have coffee. It's a safe space. Oh, my husband made the cardboard divider, all the glass jars separate. You could do that with large jars, which I do in my, my cabinet. But I can carry this outside to my cook table, and I have everything I need to, to make a meal. And it's just that simple. The bag is Camping Leisure Sports Instagram. But you can go to your thrift stores, and usually I pick up bags at thrift stores, and I do like a, a bag of toiletry bag. But at the men's shaving kits, you might find something long like this. So that's just a thought. Food for thought. Thank you. <laughs> These are the new light lighted earrings. When it makes <laughs> <laughs> new light earrings. Uh, actually, I showed this. I showed this before, but this is a Sylvania light that's USB chargeable. I use it because it's also motion detected, so I can hang it or mag it's magnetic in the van. So when I open the door, it comes on, so I have light when I go in. So I like them, and I just wanted to share that for the third time. Is there Hi. Hi. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Shirley. And I think I'm in the smallest vehicle here. Uh, I'm in a VW Golf, but it's really little. Um, so I have a lot of, you know, van life things that I bought, but I started thinking I need to really start thinking about space. So I started watching some hiking videos and getting ideas because hikers really yeah. narrow down. So um, this is how I make my coffee in the morning. This is a little pour over, it's disposable. It's just a little bag that pops open, um, sits on the top of my cup, and I just spoon my coffee in and, and pour over. Um, takes a little patience, because you don't have to put a little water in, and then, you know, as it goes down, you put a little more in. Uh, this is what I use for my coffee. And what I've been doing is, I boil my water and then I've got a thermos and I put it in my thermos so I still have some, I boil more than I need in the morning. Um, and then I also use that water, I, was, I made some oatmeal this morning. And then while that was all um, doing its thing, I washed my face. So these are whizzy wipes. Okay, it is, um, backpackers use them, they're, they're used for like a, a toilet paper <coughs> option, um, they're about the size of a mint, they're, they're just compacted, takes a little bit of water, maybe, uh, maybe a tablespoon or so. water and they start to expand and then roll. And then you've got this white and it's it's stronger than toilet paper. It says you can actually, you know, print it out and reuse it. But um so. <laughs> And I dumped one in and let it expand, and then I had a warm white. Oh, and I put oh, like, just a drop of my um, cleanser on it. Because I, I use the 
uh, wet wipes. I can use wet wipes for other parts of my body, but my face is real sensitive. So I don't like to use wet wipes on my face. It, it, it bothers uh, my skin. So then I, I washed my face, and then I did another one, and I wiped it all off. And um, so it just worked really well for me. And they don't take up much space. Uh, it came with this little, I got about, a, I think, 100 in a bag. And I think I paid $10 for them, but they've been handy. And then it came with one little tube that um, holds about 10 or so of them in it. So you left it on Amazon? I did. Wizzy Wipe is it's, uh, W Y S I. Thank you. Wizzy Wipe. Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, and there's other brands that are similar as well. So I I'm not well. If you want, I can pass it around. This is going to go in the garbage later. But good question. Yeah. But I, it's more about um, going along with that. that I, those are absolutely incredible. I'm so glad that you showed that with everyone. What I also do, like I went on cruises or I'm like backpacking, I use it for the opposite effect. Instead of taking a towel, like if we go to the beach, mm -hmm. I'll take one of those to just kind of roll it across my skin, and then it absorbs everything, and then so you're traveling very light. So yes. It, 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 it works wonderful in the opposite direction as well. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's damp when you open it up, but if it sits out for a little bit, it will dry too, so you yeah. can't use it. Yeah, I just roll it across myself, and then of course it keeps expanding, but it takes all the water off and I'm ready to go. Oh, you, you, yeah, you when you're dry, 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 yeah, that's a great idea. Thank you. Okay. I know it looks like I don't have anything, but I got a surprise in this room for everybody. Take out your cell phones, tablets, whatever. Open up your settings. with you if you have T-Mobile internet. It's plugged in, it's been plugged in, if you want to get some Wi-Fi, the password is on the back of the modem. It's a long password, so I'm not going to tell you now, but if you need some Wi-Fi, it's right over there in the corner. There's a T-Mobile box with it. Right, yep. Right behind Lori. Yeah. And the password is on it, and you can take it with you. I've taken it everywhere. I've used it on the beach. I've used it in parking lots. And it's your home internet. And it's my home internet. I brought it from home. Oh, I read nice. online some Facebook group. Um, some guy mentioned that you can have T-Mobile internet. You can take it with you on the road. It beats all those expensive internet things that you can buy for your car. Um, and it's it works here. It's only going to work in the pavilion. I tried to see if it would work when I went back to my van and it doesn't reach that far. But right around this pavilion, if you need some internet, you want to watch a movie or whatever, watch oh, that place. You use your internet. You use that internet. You plug, it will be plugged in all day today. So if you need to use it, just look on the back of the modem and the password is there. And it's what do you think? Password. Is it a month? It's fifty dollars a month. Yeah. I paid. I paid thirty. I just paid it for forty. I paid seventy. Yeah, that's my home internet. I'm not home, so I brought it to the same device. Exact same device. I plugged it into my.
my power supply in my van. Yeah. It works on AC power. It uses about, I want to say about 20 watts. Yeah. It does work in the van. I have Scott here. And I haven't hooked it up yet. I haven't had time. There's no hookup. You just plug it in. Well, I'm going to unplug everything else. And I just got it a couple of days. How much capital does it use? I mean, is it unlimited? It's unlimited. Yeah. It's internet. It's not down. So it's part, I have it all. So it's part of my phone. Like, I have a T-Mobile phone. So I got rid of the cable system and got $50 internet. And I take it. Yeah, if you're somewhere remote and you have no service, like if you lived there, yeah. you wouldn't get internet there either. Yeah, yeah. right. So you can't I, I have a similar um, setup at home because the T-Mobile doesn't work where I live. I'm out in the country, um, so I don't get the service there. But the Verizon works, and I've been using the Verizon for So somebody that goes out multiple days, 
for it, like you say, bathing is not an option. You're just kind of wiping the sweat off. This is perfect for your clothes, not yourself. Yes, I love it. This I, is I know. But you've got to be very careful because you do not have any pants around it. No, exactly. Very I carry in a little puzzle glove that I always wear. And you need a little mask. It works like coming out to the house. You can find this on Amazon. It's called Pants 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 Pants